The possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, Ja Azo? Back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there today. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why you will lose some friends as you reinvent yourself. Now I made a video last week about reinventing yourself. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But basically when you reinvent yourself, you start becoming someone no one ever thought you could be. So for example, me growing up, I told y'all, very introverted. Um, so when I started my YouTube channel and I started doing this type of videos on my channel, many people didn't see that coming. I didn't even see it coming, honestly. I didn't even see it coming until like a few years ago. But that's one way to reinvent yourself. People expect you to be a certain way because you've been that way your whole entire life and you make some changes do some inner work and now it's like you a whole new person it's like you went through a whole rebirth you know so in my experience you're gonna lose a few friends for two reasons the first reason is because y'all may not be able to relate to each other as much anymore so with me for example the friends I attracted over the years things we had in common watching sports playing video games listening to trap music smoking weed all day those type of things as I reinvented myself, I don't play video games anymore, barely. I don't really watch sports anymore, barely. You know, I watch it if it's convenient, but I don't got that passion about it no more. Like, I'm about to sit and talk to you all day about it. Um, stop smoking weed and try music. I listen to it still, but, you know, it ain't what it used to be. You know, I'm more on some, I want some more optimistic music, music that make me feel good rather than, like, killing and drugs and stuff all day. So a lot of things me and my friends had in common, I ain't really interested in those things as much anymore. So we naturally just started growing apart. And you may go through the same thing, bruh. You may go through the same thing. As you grow, as you reinvent yourself, pick up new habits, hobbies, new interests. The friends you attracted over the years, yeah, may not have many things in common anymore. Birds of a feather flock together. So as you make changes, you ain't gonna wanna hang around none more. You gonna wanna hang around people that's into what you into. For example, I got a more optimistic mindset nowadays. The friends and family I was around growing up, ain't nobody optimistic, bruh. Ain't nobody optimistic. We love complaining, being ungrateful, that type of stuff. So as I made the changes, I don't really wanna be around those type of people anymore. I don't wanna be around people that complain all day anymore. I'd rather be around people that know speaking things into existence is powerful. The more positive things you speak out, the more positive things you attract. That's the type of people I want to be around nowadays. So it's a disconnect when I'm around people that got a negative mindset or pessimistic or ungrateful. You know what I'm saying? So I naturally start like growing apart from people that's still like that. Still talk a lot of negativity out. Obviously, I can't avoid everybody that's negative. But like, if it's my choice, I'd rather just not be around you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's like in my experience. You just naturally pick up new habits, new hobbies, you change your mindset, you have new interests, and you most likely just gonna naturally start growing apart from your friends. Cause you're gonna wanna be around people that's similar to you, similar lifestyle, similar mindset, all that stuff. So you're gonna naturally start growing apart from your friends. And that ain't no bad thing by the way, cause as you make the changes, changes in your mindset, pick up new habits or hobbies, you're gonna meet new people who into the same things you into. For example, like I told you, I stopped playing video games a lot. Nowadays, I'm more into hiking and going outside in nature. So last year when I went to LA, I went hiking up this mountain and I met some other hikers, people that was into hiking, into nature, that type of stuff. Same thing will happen to you. As you start picking up new hobbies, maybe bowling, golfing, playing basketball, whatever. As you start picking up these new things, you're gonna meet people out there as you're doing it. You're gonna meet people at the courts or you're gonna meet people while you're hiking. That type of stuff. So don't sweat it. If you start growing apart from your friends, you're going to meet new people to match that new version of you. You know? So that's one reason why you might start losing some friends. The next reason is because some people in your life will be supportive of your changes and your growth. Other people won't be supportive of it. They're going to be constantly reminiscing about that old version of you. Y'all know when artists come inside the game and they make a hit song... The album go crazy, they get they get a big fan base, but then over time they grow, they start making different music, they change their sound up. Some fans 
don't like the new version of their artist. Some fans constantly want their old, they want their old so-and-so back. They want their old so-and-so back, you know? So you're gonna have people in your life just like that. You're gonna make some changes, you're gonna grow. Some people gonna want that old you back. They gonna want that old version of you back, but you don't wanna go back. You're not gonna wanna go back. So you ain't gonna wanna be around them because they gonna want that old version of you back. For example, I got some people in my life that still remind me, we used to smoke weed all the time, bro. Now we can't smoke weed no more. You know, like that type of stuff. And that just like, bro, I don't even want to be around that, bro. That's the old version of me. I'm on to the whole new version of me. You know, so you're going to have people in your life that's supportive of the new version of you and other people who's not really going to be all for that new version of you. They more into that old version of you, what you used to do, how you used to be, all that stuff, bro. So when y'all get around each other, you're going to be able to pick up on a vibe. Like, this person ain't really rocking with this new version of me. And you ain't going to want to be around them. So you might be the one to end it with them. But some people are going to be happy for you, the growth and the changes you made. I remember one girl I used to date back in the day, back when I was playing video games, smoking weed all day, all that stuff. And we linked up about a year ago. We linked up and she told me, like, something different about you. Like, something different about you. And she was like, I like it, though. You know, I like it. Saying she liked the changes that I made. She liked the new version of me. You know, so you're going to have some people in your life that's all for that new version of you. The changes you made, maybe you're more confident now, maybe you're more ambitious, maybe you're more optimistic. Some people are going to be all for it, bro. They're going to be very supportive of it. Other people, they're not going to be supportive of it, bro. They're going to want that old version of you back. They're going to be constantly reminding you of that old version of you. And you ain't going to want to be around that, bro. You ain't going to really want to be around that. That's another reason why you might lose some friends. Some people are going to be very supportive of that new version of you, and some people not. And if they're not supporting that new version of you, you ain't going to want to be around them. They might not want to be around you either because they might think you faking it or you a fraud or they might just be straight up hating. But in any case, we ain't going to want to be around them, especially if the vibe off, the energy off, and you're not supportive of the new version of me. You ain't going to want to be around that anyway, bro. So that's a few reasons why you might lose some friends as you reinvent yourself. The first reason, like I said, y'all naturally going to start growing apart from each other because y'all had similar interests. Y'all had things in common at first. Y'all know birds of a feather flock together. So as you make changes, start picking up new habits, new hobbies, change your mindset, becoming someone no one ever thought you could be, you ain't gonna wanna hang around the same crowd. You ain't, you ain't the same bird no more. You know what I'm saying? You wanna hang around eagles now. You don't wanna hang around crows no more. You gonna wanna hang around people that's into the same things you into. So y'all naturally gonna start growing apart. And like I said, that ain't no bad thing. You're gonna meet new people on the way that got the same interests as you. Maybe you become more optimistic. You're gonna attract new people that's into being optimistic. If you get your money up, you're gonna wanna be around people that got their money up. Why y'all think celebrities hang out with other celebrities? They got things in common, the lifestyle, the money, fame, fans, all that stuff. You're gonna naturally start attracting people that's into the same thing you into, same lifestyle, same interests, you know? So you're gonna naturally grow apart from your old friend group. Now, not to say that all your friends won't come along. Some of them may grow with you. They may have similar interests as you. And y'all could just keep growing together. But some people, you're going to be able to tell, y'all not growing together no more. So it's really going to be a waste of time and waste of energy. So you better off just leaving them behind and keep doing your thing. Keep elevating. Keep becoming who you want to be. And attracting them new people. And the second reason, like I said, some people are going to be very supportive of the changes you make. The growth. You reinvent yourself. Some people are going to be very supportive of it. Other people... They ain't gonna like it, they're gonna hate to see it. You know, they're gonna think about the old version of you. They either gonna be hating on you, or think you faking it, or think you switched up, you different in a bad way, and you ain't gonna wanna be around them, no way. So yeah, that's a few reasons why you're gonna lose some friends as you reinvent yourself, bro. Let me know y'all thoughts on this video. Shout out to everybody out there reinventing themselves for the better, becoming a better version of yourself. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Peace out, y'all.